Bike theft is a thing, well that's at least according to my friends. Luckily I still have my bike right here. But would it be nice for me to track the location of my bike if my bike lock is ever being cut and my bike ever being stolen? This is the run up to WWDC 2021 and we're going to talk about what AirTag is and what it probably isn't. First and foremost, what is an AirTag? These circular tiles have been rumoured to be Apple's upcoming tracking devices that you can attach to your non-internet enabled belongings, so you can track the location of your belongings and possibly retrieve them if you ever misplace them. Rumours of the existence of AirTags have been around since the introduction of the iPhone 11. Now the iPhone 11 and AirTags, they seem quite unrelated to each other, but I promise you there is actually quite a good reason for this speculation. All iPhone 11 models and subsequently all iPhone 12 models have got this U1 chip inside them and it utilizes something called ultra wideband technology. While other item trackers like those from the brand Tile only use Bluetooth to help track and locate items, AirTags are rumored to use ultra wideband technology, which compared to Bluetooth can capture spatial and directional audio at a higher frequency and accuracy. So how does this ultra wideband technology actually work in real life? At this moment, if you and your friend both have iPhone 11s or later, you can actually point your iPhones to watch each other's and your two iPhones can actually prioritize each other for a faster file sharing experience over AirDrop because both of your iPhones actually have spatial awareness with the help of the U1 chip and ultra wideband technology. The U1 chip is also found on the HomePod Mini. So the HomePod Mini can actually use ultra wideband technology to more accurately detect whether you're trying to hand off some music rather than just to use Bluetooth. As a result, you can have a more streamlined handoff experience between your HomePod Mini and your iPhone. The ultra wideband technology is actually so promising that Tile is planning on a newer version of their item trackers with ultra wideband technology, with potentially more efficient and accurate item tracking. But even with all that kerfuffle around ultra wideband technology, item tracking and now air tags, we don't really know much else about the specifications of these rumored air tags. Everything Apple Pro has stated that the air tags will come with a miniature size of a diameter of 32 mm and a thickness of 6 mm. But Love to Dream suggested otherwise that the air tags will come in two sizes, a larger and a smaller one. Still, that just really tells us that the larger version probably have a longer battery life than the smaller one, and that's pretty much it. We also don't have a firm grasp of whether the AirTags are powered by coin batteries or by wireless charging, although all things considered, it would be quite cool if it's wireless charging, especially if it shares the same charger as the Apple Watch. But on the more exciting end of a spectrum, it's not a question of whether AirTags will ever arrive, it's just a matter of when. In April last year, Apple already accidentally confirmed the existence of AirTags. Apple uploaded a support video aimed to explain the functions of Find My, but they accidentally included the wording of AirTags in their pre-release iOS software. Now, there are loads of reasons as to why Apple is holding off the release of the AirTags, but I personally believe it is because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Because no one's really going out during the COVID pandemic. And if no one's going out during the COVID pandemic, they're not bringing their belongings with them outside. And no one with their belongings outside, that means they don't need to track the locations of their belongings. That means no one's going to buy AirTags. That means AirTags is not worth being released. But that doesn't really stop the rumors of AirTags being released at any time now, especially with the COVID pandemic starting to calm down. The most recent suggestion of AirTags imminent release actually came with iOS 14.5 beta. In this beta version, the Find My app actually has a functionality to add or identify the found item, meaning the support for AirTags and other compatible accessories are actually ready on iOS devices. With COVID-19 vaccines being rolled out and the world is starting to open up again, WWDC 2021 might just be an opportune time for Apple to finally announce AirTags. Still, don't be too hyped about the AirTags, because here's me raining on your parade and telling you what the AirTag isn't. 
Ad Hack is rumored to be sold at 39 US dollars, which compared to Tower Trackers at 25 dollars or 20 quid a piece is actually a little bit more expensive. Another comparison would be Samsung's offering at 30 dollars or 30 pounds a piece, but then they're only compatible with Samsung Galaxy phones, so it's not really a direct comparison. But now the second and more important thing is that you most probably can't deter thieves from stealing your personal belongings even if you have air tags attached to them. For your iPhones, iPads, Apple Watches and certain Macs, activation lock prevents other people from being able to use your devices after they've stolen them because that requires you unlocking the devices with your Apple ID. But then, in the case of a stolen bike, what thieves can most probably do is to remove the air tag by force from your bike, throw the air tag onto the side of the road, bike away, and get on with their lives. As long as air tags are peripherally attached to your belongings, theft protection is not a given. So until one day there's a bike with ultra wideband technology built in, my bike will just be as vulnerable as ever. So what do you think about the air tags? Do you think they're useful or are they just gimmicky? Leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think. WWDC 2021 is going to be a galore of software and possibly hardware releases. So do subscribe to the channel and I'll keep you in the loop for all the exciting stuff we can expect. For now, you can watch one of my videos somewhere here. And um, if you excuse me, I'm going to have a bike ride while it's sunny. Until next time.